pretty sure those rocks went like a quarter of a mile out into the desert. Hello, fine people of the interwebs. It's your favorite shop dwelling Sarah here with a truck that is way too big to fit in her shop. It is the Ford F-250 Tremor. For 2022, the truck is back. It was basically unobtainium for the previous model year because of the microchip shortage. And for 2022, you can get it if you buy the models that have more microchips in them. It is not available on the XLT still because of the microchip shortage, the vehicle that has the least amount of microchips in it. Okay, but at least you can get it. If you're not aware of what the Tremor is, it is not an exploding hot pocket that scours the desert looking to eat people. It is a competitor for Dodge's power wagon, except Ford figured out how to put a winch and a diesel in this thing. 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. You can also get the same truck with the 7.3 gasoline Godzilla V8. And this right here, is a 12,000 pound optional Warren winch built into the factory bumper. That's what's up, 70 feet of cable also, and it has a wireless remote that you can interchange for a wired version. So you have options in how you can regulate your cable. It's worn. This right here though is the meat and potatoes to the Tremor package. Aside from the suspension, which we will nerd out in detail on here when I do garage science in a little bit. But this is a set of 35 inch Goodyear Duratrac tires and a 18 inch satin black wheel. And the center of it does have the old school style hubs. I like these, they are automatic, but you can turn them and lock them manually if you wish as well. And behind there, is a set of 14.29 inch or 363 millimeter for my metric folk rotors with a two piston caliper that is bigger than my head. This is a massive fuel filler door. Ah, the DEF is also in there. That's why. Like up front, the F-250s do have rear disc brakes. No drums back here. And it has another 14.29 inch rear rotor with a two piston back caliper. I like that they made this look like a hub like you have in the front. Like it looks like you could turn the little Ford logo. That's cute. And also for obvious reasons, you can only get the Tremor package on the single rear wheel F2 and F350s. You can't get it on a dually. I love the rear windows on these trucks. That is a solid piece of glass with electronic slider in the center of it. As far as out back goes, if you want to tow something with this truck, it'll still tow 15,000 pounds and the payload's over 4,000 pounds. That means you could basically put a Ranger in the bed of this thing, an old school Ranger. It's got a handle that pulls out of there. Nice. Feels sturdy too. You could literally have a dance party back here. This thing is so huge. Also, if you want, you can get a big hole cut in your roof, but luckily this one does not have that. It's a slick top. That was a long way down. I'm surprised you and McGregor hasn't made a motorcycle trip about getting out of the back of this truck. As far as the interior goes, still have that little keypad right there. I hope Ford never gets rid of these. I love that. Anyway, it's a, this is a Lariat package. It's nice in here. Considering what the intended purpose of this truck is, I think the Lariat trim package is really all you need on terms of the interior. Since I've reviewed a uh, Super Duty in the past, there's a link up above to that if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna cover the interior just briefly and what really stands out unique to this truck in particular, like the fact that this is a Lariat model with the Lariat Ultimate package on top of that, which basically adds heated and ventilated seats. What's most important about them though is how comfortable they are, especially under the thighs. I don't think my butt would fall asleep on a long road trip. And I also don't think this would bolster me very well if I were to take it on a racetrack, which I would not recommend doing. Bolstering. These just get more and more ridiculous every time I do them. That really hurt my ankle. This is like sitting first class in an airplane. I can't, I can't believe how much leg room there is. Wow, that is the coolest looking dome light I've ever seen in a vehicle. It looks like the front end of an antique train. A little slidey boy will make your cup holders go from two to too much for your bladder to handle. There's eight, eight cup holders in this vicinity for two humans. I've never had a back seat big enough where I could do this. 
<laughs> you can slide back and forth. I guess the building material shortage reached the truck market because there's only two little strips of wood on the doors. That's it. That's all the wood we can spare for the trucks. Do these fold up? I assume these fold up. Oh yeah. And there's lockable storage compartments underneath them, just like the other Super Duties. Risky D bless you graves immortals. Don't sneeze on people's graves unless you're immortal. Jeez, it shakes the whole truck. Thing sounds pissed. This one does not have the new 12 inch touchscreen display for the 2022 model because this one's actually 2021, but you basically couldn't buy this truck because they were so limited. Uh, it does have fruit and robot compatibility as well as navigation and a 10 speaker, 1000 watt banging sound system. Sounds good. On top of having power folding mirrors, it also has the power yeet package. Press that button, you can extend your mirrors to compensate for your lack of trailer you're likely not towing behind you. In the name of science, I am now gonna give this thing the beans. I'm gonna leave it in too high, even though four wheel drive would probably give me an advantage. I'm gonna disable trash control, which is just gonna make this thing roast the tires. And I'm gonna let it eat, cause that sounds fun. Ready? Go. Oh, wheel spin, there you go. Go truck, go. Go truck, go. Jeez. That, okay, that's good. This thing is no joke. second for it to get off the line, but once it starts going and it builds boost, jeez. Poppin' the hoods. Check that out. Basically a sticker saying, do not modify. Hmm. Hello, and welcome to Garage Science with Sarah. Under the hood of this F-250 Tremor is a 6.7 liter overhead valve, single turbo diesel V8 that makes noises and scares the shit out of me. What are you doing, truck? That was scary. It's making robot sounds. Anyway, this engine produces 475 horsepower at 2600 RPM and 1050 pound feet of torque at 1600 RPM. That is a load of torque. And that right there, is what I'd like to call an absolute nightmare of an engine bay to have to work on. You might as well pull the cab if you're gonna do any serious maintenance on this thing. Somewhere in that abyss is a variable geometry twin scroll turbocharger that is paired to that turbo diesel V8. You can also equip the Tremor with a 7.3 liter gasoline V8 that produces 430 horse and 475 pound feet of torque because it is the pinnacle of internal combustion engine technology right now. It's only gonna shrivel up and die from here forward, so you better take advantage of it while you still can, because pretty soon we'll just be bragging about how many battery cells we have. It's time for the braking test. This is gonna be terrifying. This is a lot of weight. No one behind me. Here it goes. Ooh. Oh my God, that was insane. Hello, I'm back. I had to borrow a lift because neither of mine are capable of lifting a truck of this size in weight. But nonetheless, come underneath. Like other models of the F-250, it comes with a Dana 60 solid front axle. But what is unique to the Tremor package is this pumpkin is laced with LSD. Limited slip differential. Unlike the power wagon though, this does not have an electronic sway bar disconnect. 
Paired to that 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel is a 10R140 automatic transmission. This was the transmission that was jointly developed with Ford and General Motors. And this is the heavy duty version of that 10 speed. The Tremor package also sits two inches higher over a standard F250 and has unique twin tube dampers. Jeez. This thing apparently has a bomb bay underneath it as well too. Look at the size of the exhaust system on here because of emissions and such. Just like the other models of F250, it is a fully boxed frame. And as you can see, someone has taken this one in the mud and had some fun with it, which I'm about to do as well. You see the transfer case has a nice beefy skid plate underneath it. Everything is fairly well protected under here with real metal skid plates. No plastic or cardboard ones. And lastly, out back, you have a Dana solid rear axle with a electronic locker in the back and the Tremor unique branded shocks. You can see the lift blocks right here that make this sit higher than the regular F-250. And also these big ass rear two pot calipers, as well as a full size spare rear tire. Now going to conduct a series of off-road obstacle tests to establish this thing's off-road capabilities. Starting with the articulation test. I have it in four high and uh, let's just see what the suspension can do. Now this thing has 10.8 inches of ground clearance and this section hopefully you should see how smooth these twin tube dampers are on this truck. So far, I, this is smooth, this is so smooth. I mean, on the road, you can definitely tell this is a solid axle front and rear HD truck, but again, not too shabby. Next, I will conduct a test to establish the truck's donut ability. I'm going to leave it in too high, not gonna lock the rear diff, although that would probably be fun. And I'm going to disable traction control. Ready? Here it goes. Oh jeez. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is a big truck to do a donut in. done. I'm pretty sure those rocks went like a quarter of a mile out into the desert. Now for the hill climb test. This hill has a fairly high failure rate and despite this being a tremor of all kinds of off-road goodies, it's a heavy truck. So I'm going to lock the rear diff. I'm going to put it into four low. Okay, here it goes. So this truck has a 31.7 degree approach angle in a 44 to 1 crawl ratio with this 355 rear end gearing going nice and slow Ooh, this is a lot of mass it's really hard to do without a spotter I'm just kind of hoping my line is good I'm using the cameras oh yeah not even a challenge for this thing it's nerve-wracking though because this is such a massive truck <laughs> Thank you, cameras. I will now test this truck's ability to conquer a mosquito-infested cesspool and uh, see how this 33 inches of water fording capability is. I doubt it's this deep, but I really hope this isn't gooey at the bottom. This is a heavy truck. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. A little gooey at the bottom. It's really nothing for this thing, though. 
There's gonna be so many mosquitoes in the air and I gotta get out and get my camera. That wasn't really difficult enough. So I hope I don't get stuck. This is ridiculous. Uh, four high, lock the diff. At least there's a tree right there I can attach a winch to and destroy these sneakers if I get stuck. I'm nervous. I'm legit, I'm by myself out here. I have no one to help me if I get stuck. Hang on, penguins. Oh, jeez. Ooh, ho, ho, this is deep. Ooh, it made it through. Yeah, it did it. You big behemoth. You big, beautiful beast. My final verdict of the Tremor, absolutely love the concept of a big off-road capable HD truck. If you're a car enthusiast and you need to tow a trailer with some race cars on it, or you're into overlanding or camping, I think this would be a great truck, especially considering it's a diesel, so it gets phenomenal fuel economy. I was averaging almost 18 miles per gallon with this thing, just driving around town. <laughs> and I wasn't being easy on it. So that's incredible considering how much this truck weighs. Is it worth $77,000? If you're gonna keep it for a long time, yes, I believe so. Diesel trucks hold their value well and they typically last a long time. Yeah, I don't know, this, this truck met and exceeded all my expectations. If you guys never seen one of my vehicle reviews before, I have multiple categories to rate in a system, starting with the bean score, it's a rating of one to five beans based on the feeling you get in your gut when you give it those beans. And this Ford F-250 Tremor with a 6.7 Power Stroke Diesel is getting a rating of 1.9 beans. This thing has got so much torque. It's like encroaching electric car feeling in the gut when you give it the beans. It's so crazy. Next is the meatball score as assessment of a truck's capable of squishing rock meat off-road <laughs> anyway the tremor is getting a rating of 3.7 meatballs this thing is absolutely ridiculous off-road considering it weighs as much as two mid-sized trucks i'm so surprised it did this well off-road i mean i thought i was gonna do good but i couldn't even scratch the surface of what this thing's capabilities are because it's not mine and this is a car view and i can't go full yeet i'm sorry Next is the cookie score. It's an assessment of value on a one to five cookie scale. And this truck right here, as it is equipped, is getting a rating of 3.5 cookies. It is tough to assess something this expensive when it's a truck, but realistically, if you're looking at the mechanical hardware you're getting here, it, it makes sense. It really does. And this truck will probably outlast 90% of its owners if it's cared for. So. I think it is decent value, as crazy as that sounds. Lastly, though, is the Penguin score. It's an assessment of how much I personally like a vehicle on a one to five Penguin scale. And the Tremor F250 is getting a rating of 4.7 Penguins. I like this truck way more than I thought I was going to. I absolutely adore this thing, especially in race red. My only complaint, and this is something I have in common with a lot of new vehicles, is it's called a Tremor. I wanna see more vibrant colors offered on this truck. With such an out there name, you'd expect stuff like, I don't know, grabber yellow or grabber blue. And I know the microchip shortage is what it is, whatever, but it would have made more sense to see this on an XL and an XLT trim, just considering what this truck's purpose is going off-road. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you soon with another. Bye.